Technology and Livelihood Education. Industrial Arts for Grade 7. Quarter 4 Week 3 Part 3. Our topic is Power Tool Hazards. The content standard for this lesson is The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts in industrial arts services. The performance standard is the learners perform mensuration and calculations following safety precautions. Here are the learning competency and learning objectives for this lesson. Name the following power tools and then classify it if it is pneumatic tools or hydraulic tools. Hazards Pneumatic tools like chippers, drills, hammers, and sanders are powered by compressed air. The dangers involved in their use are as follows. 1. Being hit by one of the tool's attachments or some fastener, the worker uses the tool. IFA face and foot protection may be required. Checks should be regularly carried out to ensure that the tool is securely fastened to its hose to prevent it from becoming disconnected and a safety XSO valve should be installed at the source of the air supply to reduce the pressure in case of hose failure. A short wire or positive locking device attaching the air hose to the tool can also be an added safeguard. In addition, a safety clip or retainer can be installed to prevent attachments, such as the chisel on a chipping hammer, from being unintentionally shot from the barrel. 2. Noise levels generated by some tools, such as jackhammers, are high and require hearing protection to be provided. 3. Handarm vibration levels from tools such as pneumatic stone working hammers can be high. For example, older tools and conventional chisels can generate vibration at approximately 30 meters per square second, although modern vibration reduced hammers and sleeved chisels can reduce these levels to roughly 8 to 12 meters per square second. 4. Flying material from the work being carried out can endanger both the worker and those in the nearby area, and screens should be erected to protect those in the immediate vicinity from ing fragments around chippers, riveting guns, staplers, and air drills. In addition, compressed air guns should never be pointed toward anyone, and users should never dead-end them against themselves or anyone else. Pneumatic tools that shoot nails, rivets, staples, or similar fasteners should be equipped with a device to keep fasteners from being ejected unless the muzzle is pressed against the work surface. Spray guns that atomize paints and fluids at higher pressures should be fitted with automatic or manual safety devices that prevent the trigger from being operated until the safety device is released. The following should be considered about hydraulic tools. 1. The fluid used should be of an approved re-resistant type that will retain its operating characteristics at the most extreme temperatures to which it will be exposed. 2. The manufacturer's recommended safe operating pressure for hoses, valves, pipes, filters, and other fittings must not be exceeded. 
3. A jet of hydraulic oil from a hose can be at 3,000 psi, penetrating the skin barrier as quickly as if delivered through a hypodermic syringe. Although the external signs of injury may appear slight, severe internal damage may have occurred as the fluid can penetrate muscles and organs and result in the need for surgery. The oil is corrosive to body tissue, and the damage caused may require amputation. Therefore, extreme caution is needed when checking for leaks, and a safe method must be used rather than the hands like running a piece of card along the hose. 4. Stored energy may also be present, so it is essential to safely release the pressure before working on any hydraulic system. The following are the advantages and disadvantages of power tools. One of the advantages of the pneumatics tools is that, the initial cost of pneumatic tools is about half that of hydraulic tools. Disadvantages of pneumatic tools 1. Often, service life is limited to 5 to 10 years. Significantly more maintenance is required than hydraulic tools, including draining moisture from air tanks and constantly keeping tools oiled. 2. They are relatively loud and can threaten hearing in some circumstances. 3. Special care must be taken when used in confined spaces or poorly ventilated areas, as exhaust air may contain oil or antifreeze, and the tool may discharge contaminated air into the environment. 4. Due to moisture in the air, they can freeze up and become inoperable at freezing temperatures. 5. They cannot deliver the same power, especially when torque is required, as hydraulic tools use pressurized air that will compress. 6. Broken hoses can become a hazard if they whip around uncontrollably. The following are the advantages of hydraulic tools. Hydraulic tools are known for their durability, which can be more than 15 years of service. Very little maintenance is required, as internal parts are always bathed in oil, only general cleaning after use and keeping hydraulic couplers clean is needed, they are relatively quiet. They can operate in sub-zero temperatures without freezing up. They do not present additional hazards in confined spaces. They can operate in wet conditions, and some can be operated underwater. They are more powerful as they use pressurized liquid oil that does not compress as air does. The disadvantages of the hydraulic tools are First, the initial purchase cost is relatively high, often about twice that of an alternative pneumatic tool. Then, broken hoses can result in a mess, although they are not inherently dangerous. The fluid used can penetrate the skin barrier at high pressure and cause severe internal damage to the body. And finally, the stored energy may be present in the hydraulic system that needs to be safely released before it is worked on. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.